you guys. Uh, excellent. Oh, I'm trying to uh, get into shape. Anybody else here? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just me. Okay, go for you. Trying to get into shape, but here's the thing, guys. I stopped working out at the gym. Stopped working out the gym because everybody there is so much stronger than me. <laughs> That's why I feel better about myself. I started working out at the local physical rehabilitation center. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that is a huge ego boost. Because <laughs> I may not be able to bench press a lot, but I can certainly catch a tennis ball. <laughs> the therapist is like, you're doing great, Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> I'm like, wait, do you see me walk? I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, whenever you're talking to somebody who recently lost like a lot of weight, for whatever reason, they always want to show you a picture of what they looked like before. Right? Like, why do I want to see a picture of you when you were unhealthy? Well, nobody else does that. You're never talking to someone, they're like, oh, today I'm eight years clean. They're like, oh, congratulations. They're like, thanks. Hey, you want to see a picture of me with a needle in my arm? <laughs> A lot of people do yoga. People say that yoga teaches you how to listen to your body. Well, <laughs> so does Indian food. <laughs> if you really want to see how far you can stretch, order tikka masala and get stuck in traffic on the way home. You know? <laughs> so, you know. It's a tough business, stand-up comedy. It's hard to make money. You don't have to laugh at that part, but it is a <laughs> It's a tough business. I got stuck in this conversation recently with a couple of wealthy people, and one of them asked me how my investments were doing. I told him both avocados should be right by tomorrow. <laughs> Check and see if this is real brick or not. <laughs> think so. Trying to make some extra, I tried driving for Uber and Lyft to make some extra money, but here's the thing, guys, my car is too old. <laughs> That's why I want to create a rideshare app that only uses older cars. You know, it'd be like super cheap for the passenger, but the catch is, if the car breaks down, they have to pay for the repairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Risky Ride. <laughs> It's like, I drive, you push. <laughs> cool. I do drive an environmentally friendly car, though. It's a 1999 Toyota Camry. But you would think it was a hybrid the way the engine shuts off at a traffic light. You know? so, uh, <laughs> you said that's a good one. It's a, it's a great way to put every other joke down. <laughs> <laughs> Specify you like that one. Imagine if I fell through this fake brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> I went to my first wine tasting recently, and I was worried that I wouldn't fit in, guys, but I had the <laughs> etiquette completely down. Like, after tasting the wine, I made sure to spit it out as soon as I heard how much the bottle costs. <laughs> I'm like, Fourteen dollars? <laughs> I don't know anything about wine. I, I really don't. I don't know anything about wine. That's why I buy bottles based off the label's artwork. You know, the other day I was at a restaurant and the server's like, what type of wine would you like with dinner? I'm like, bear in a scuba suit. <laughs> I tried to buy a bottle of wine uh, recently and on the label it said our story with like a detailed description of how the wine was made. You know, I'm like, relax, it's a $7 bottle of wine. <laughs> I'm like, our story is we're both struggling. <laughs> so, 
talks, man. It's <laughs> entertainment business. This is a, it's tough. You know, my financial situation is so bad that right now I'm being sponsored by a child in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> For the price of a cup of coffee in Botswana, you could sponsor me, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. This is a good, diverse makeup, man. That's how it is in this audience if you can't see your neighbors. Uh, there's a lot of stereotypes about black people, unfortunately. Uh, feel free to yell some out. <laughs> Just trying to trick you guys. <laughs> Like black people not being able to swim or growing up without their father, uh, fortunately, in my case, crowd, those are both true. Uh, my father drowned and trying to teach me how to swim. So. <laughs> that would have been my dad's favorite joke, you know? So. 